Hey guys, I'm Extravi, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to install shaders for Roblox, but before we begin, please do not skip anything in the video, even when you download the installer, it's not as simple as clicking install. There is a very important step you have to do inside of the installer's settings to make sure that this works, or else this will likely not work for you, because it just, if you skip steps, you're going to probably miss some important information, and then it just might not work. So please follow along and just don't skip steps or else something just might not work. Anyway, before we begin, please, in this, the first step, please open Roblox, any game from your browser and close it to make sure Roblox is up to date. Because by doing that, Roblox will automatically install any updates and then you'll be in the latest version so when you open it after you install the shaders roblox doesn't need to update again deleting the shaders um this works with both roblox and blockstrap so um you should be good to go with that um so you can use blockstrap roblox doesn't matter blockshade will work with it um and another step you're going to have to go down to your taskbar right click task manager go over to performance and you might be here on CPU first. Um, go over to GPU and make sure you have an NVIDIA GPU. Um, for one of them, you might have two. You might have an uh, integrated GPU, like an AMD and an NVIDIA GPU, or an Intel and an NVIDIA GPU. As long as one of your GPUs says NVIDIA, you should be good to go. Um, if I look laggy when I'm actually in-game testing, that's because I'm not on the best computer right now. I have two gigabytes of VRAM and two cores on this computer that I'm using to record this video. And you can see that I'm already using 93% of my GPU recording the video. But when you use the shaders, I'm sure it's going to run just fine. Um, you're not going to have the issues I'm having right now. I'm just having um, high GPU usage because I'm not on a high end. I'm not on a good computer right now, basically. But um, yeah. So once you've done that and you know that you have an NVIDIA GPU and your Roblox is up to date, go go over to um, blackstrap.com, I mean blackshade.com, or um, the Blackshade GitHub, and you download it there. Make sure it's from Extrava if it's on GitHub, or just go to blackshade.com and the download link will just pull from GitHub. Um, this is the source code so you can make sure it doesn't have viruses or anything like that. Uh, we also have a discord server and um, you can actually see right here this is a link to it there's 7,000 people online but there is 23,000 people in our discord server that will be linked in the description so if you're worried about viruses or anything like that it's completely safe a lot of people actually use blockchain including influencers um, so there's no need to worry about viruses or anything like that it's open source it's popular um, and you can check for yourself so once you actually have the setup file, you're going to want to open it and you are going to see this pop up. This is because I'm an unverified publisher, as you can see right here, publisher, unknown publisher. And to get verified on Windows, it costs money, a lot of money per year that I don't have because I'm not making any money off Blockchain. It's a free program. So that's why you're getting this pop up. Just click run anyway. And you're going to get this pop up. This is because um, it needs to make changes to the NVIDIA folder. And to do that, it's going to require um, permissions, right? So click yes. And the first step, very important, go over to settings and click patch NVIDIA app. You have to do this. Um, and by the way, this is not stuck. This takes time because it has to download an older version of the NVIDIA app. So just let that happen. You have to do this because in the newer versions of the NVIDIA app, NVIDIA is blocking people from using shaders on unsupported games. Roblox is one of those. So that's why you have to patch the NVIDIA app now. And you only have to patch the NVIDIA app once. You only have to do this once and you will never have to do this again. So just follow the steps. So first step, you're going to want to uninstall the NVIDIA app, the current one you have installed. If you have GeForce experience, it's just going to ask you to update to this app. Do that. So wait for that to happen. Once this is done, click close. And then right here, you can see it is uninstalled the NVIDIA app and it is getting ready to install a different version of the NVIDIA app where shaders will work. And it's just going to take you to a slightly older version 
and disable updates for it, but you're still going to get driver updates and everything will function as expected. So click agree and continue. And just wait for this to happen. And once this is done, um, another important step, you're gonna have to go through this setup here. So click, um, you can turn this off and on, that doesn't matter. Um, this needs to be checked on. You need the NVIDIA overlay. And once you've done that, you can actually close out of this because now you have the NVIDIA app. And now you are ready to install. But before we do that, one more thing to note, every time Roblox updates, you have to go into here if your shaders are not working and click create shortcuts that will enable shaders for roblox because when roblox updates it removes the files so you just have to re-enable it again but this patching nvidia app you only have to do that once and you never have to do that again so do not go through that process every time just go here and click create shortcuts when roblox updates so now that we've patched the NVIDIA app, we know how to re-enable shaders when Roblox updates. Um, we've made sure Roblox is up to date. We made sure we're running a compatible system. Just go over here and click install. And this, once again, depending on your internet speed and hardware, it might take a bit of time because it has to download different shader files and then it has to configure it inside of the NVIDIA folder. So just um, wait for it to finish. Um, so you're going to see it's downloading. So I'm going to leave this and let you see this running. It doesn't take that long, but I'm just leaving it so you can actually see um, it in progress and it working. So here it is extracting the files. So it's almost done. And now that it's done, um, you can actually install community shaders or presets. This is optional because Block Shade has its own built-in, or you can just use the built-in standard effects it installs. Or you can go here and let's say you want to use Block PR, right? Um, you just click install and it's just going to do it for you. Click OK on the pop-up and then you can proceed. So I'm not going to do that because Block Shade already includes presets. So I'm just going to click next. And um, if you'd like to support me, you can leave these all checked um, and, you know, join our Discord server, subscribe to me on YouTube, join a Roblox group, but that's optional. But um, yeah, it would be appreciated if you do um, leave these checked. So now that Blockshade is installed, you are ready to open Roblox. So I'm going to close these links and I'm going to open Roblox now. But I'm not actually using Roblox, I'm using Blockstrap because as I said, this works just fine with both Roblox or Blockstrap. It doesn't matter what you're using. Blockshade is compatible with both. So once you're in game, um, another step you're going to have to do, you're going to have to make sure that the menu, you open up the Roblox menu, go over to settings and make sure this is checked from usually this is on automatic make sure this is turned off from automatic and set this to manual and make sure this is all the way up to graphics 10 for the best um quality and once you've done that as i said by the way if it looks laggy i am on a really it's just not a good computer right now um you press alt z to open up the menu and then here you have the nvidia menu so just alt z and then you're going to want to click on game filter and it's going to take a while to load uh as i said i'm on a slower computer so it's taking a bit longer so you're going to see none here and you're going to see um one two and three so i'm going to click on one and just wait a second it's going to load and now you can see the shader effects have actually loaded in i'm going to select block shade ultra give it a second And now you can see that the shaders um, have turned on. As I said, I'm just not on the best computer. So that's why it's probably going to look laggy for you. I'm also recording too, and that is a performance hit. So once you've done that, let's say you want to turn off the shaders, open the menu again. So just press Alt Z, uh, click on game filter. 
click on the shader you want to turn off and click the trash icon. And now you don't see it here. That's not a problem. Just click none again, go back and give it a second. Um, and then you'll have the option to turn back on the shader. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now you have shaders on Roblox and if you want to turn it off, just go into this menu, click none or turn it back on by clicking on the filter. You can remove it from the filter. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much there is all to it. Um, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm Extravi. Thank you. Uh, bye.